Hello everyone, this video is going to be going through what's in my gym bag. This bad boy right here, what is in it, let's go. First and foremost, this bag is an East Sport bag. I got it from Walmart. Really not the high quality. The pockets started to rip on like the side, started to rip a little bit. So not that high of quality, but gets the job done. Eventually I'd like to get a nicer, bigger backpack so I can fit everything. Maybe in a knock a power backpack, those are pretty cool. But anyways, this is the backpack. Let's get to what is inside. So we'll start with the big pocket first. And in the big pocket, I always bring my jug of water and I fill this up there uh, so I have something to drink during the workout and say if I'm gonna take pre-workout or anything else during the workout I'll bring my little blender bottle and have water in that but normally I bring this big thing and then uh, fill it up at the end of the workout but to stay hydrated I bring this next probably the most important thing I have in my lifting backpack my gym bag is my lifting notebook I write down all my workouts in here uh, write down what days I need to record, what I need what I need to record, and then as well as my weights and uh, everything I did for the workout so I can look back at it and reference in the future. And I just finished a whole one of these, so this is a new one, and without this, it's tough to remember exactly what I have to do, and it's just nice to look back on, and I love writing down, it just feels good to check mark or write down that weight after you do something. So, lifting notebook, highly recommend you guys get something to write down your workouts keep you accountable and know what you're doing before you go into the gym. Next we have a t-shirt. Specifically, I'm a jackrabbit, my freshman t-shirt. Um, I have a t-shirt in here because sometimes at the wellness center they'll dress code me and say I can't wear my cutoff that I'm wearing. I wear the same ones all the time, but every once in a while, probably like every once a month, they'll come talk to everybody in the gym, say, oh, you can't wear that cutoff because it's against the dress code. Technically it is always, but I bring a t-shirt just in case I need to change, throw this on instead so I don't have to go all the way back to the dorm or wear my hoodie during the workout. I always have an extra t-shirt in my bag. And if you know me, I do not like wearing a t-shirt when I work out or play sports. I'd much rather wear a cutoff. Um, I just feel restricted and it feels weird. Plus, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good for the, for the gram and for the YouTube if I wear a t-shirt when I work out. Now in the side pockets, um, first I have a mask. I always keep a mask in my backpack and all both my backpacks. I have like four or five of these nice SDSU masks that they gave us. So I cycle through, like I just put one into the laundry and this is a new one that's cleaner and will be put into my lifting one. Um, so I always have a mask because I gotta wear one everywhere on campus and in the gym if I'm not actually doing a set, I have to wear a mask. In the other side of the backpack, I literally have nothing. I have one cough drop. Um, not a whole lot. I'll put a water bottle there or maybe extra pen or pencil if I have it. Or I'll put like the little towel they give us so we can spray down equipment and wipe it off. That's where I'll put it. Now if we move into the top pocket, this one up here, I have my headphones. These are some Beats. I don't even know what they're called. Power Beats. Bluetooth. They're good. They get the job done. Um, I have no problem with them. Uh, they've been through a lot, a lot of sweat and dirt from working and working out, and they get the job done. Good battery. I don't wear them all the time, only sometimes. If I lift alone, I will. Or if Will, my lifting partner and roommate, if he has his own headphones in, I'll wear them. But most time, no headphones. Then on this pocket, I have two straps. Now these came with this other thing, this bad boy right here, my pad. Um, but first I'll explain these. These are supposed to go around the pad, but you don't really need them. So my thought process is maybe I'd keep them and like do some like, put it on your arm or something, do like some, uh, I don't even know, blood flow restriction curls or something. I've never done that before, so I don't recommend trying it yet. I don't know the science behind it, but that's maybe gonna try it with these. And then this is a pad I got from Amazon. This came with it. Um, a power guidance um, hip thrust pad, squat pad. I don't use it for squats. I need it for hip thrust because I don't have one here at SDSU and they don't have one. Uh, just so it doesn't so isn't so painful and I can actually get the benefits from the hip thrust that I want. So I got this pad. It's like 15 bucks maybe from Amazon. Not a lot. And this backpack was like 20 30 bucks maybe, not sure. But yeah, 
this pad. It's not always in my backpack, but I'll bring it on the days that I need it. Now, before I get into this bottom pocket right here, I want to show you guys this little card I have. So on the one side, it's, uh, uh, there you go, you can see it. It's my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I have just a little thing on here just in case people like see me recording in the gym or wonder and then wonder why I'm doing that or just like see it and want to follow or I don't know, gain some followers. Maybe you're watching and you came because you saw this thing, so hopefully it worked. I don't know. Just a sticker onto a Remember the Unborn card that I got because I'm a life runner. Um, yeah. And then in this pocket, I have my wrist straps for deadlifting. Um, they are Harbinger wrist wraps if they focused Harbinger wrist wraps I have this little nice pad on here which I like better than the other ones it's like a little rubber pad right here um, and they're pretty nice I use them here at SDSU all the time because I don't they don't have chalk and I don't bring my own because it just could be a mess in my bag and in the gym so I use these if I'm going heavy enough weight where I can't hold it normally and I don't like to go mixed grip I prefer just to stay like this um, yeah these are pretty nice I think they're they're only like 10 15 bucks maybe so good investment I'm definitely glad I got them uh, yeah now that's everything I actually carry in my gym bag um, another thing I bring sometimes lately I haven't is my lifting belt so this is a chic lifting belt that my roommate will got me for Christmas he got us both one of them I actually haven't used it yet um, but I'm, I plan on it lately and for a while now I'm going to be training with no belt so that means my deadlifts and squats and uh, everything else just no belt beltless um, just so I can work on keeping my like natural strength um, but the belts once I get back into training for strength because right now I'm just training for size and looks once I get back into strength training I will start using the belt again because it's uh, beneficial for, it can add a couple pounds to your max. Um, but yeah, this was a nice belt. It's nice and thick, uh, good leather. It needs to be worn in, but it's pretty thick, pretty nice. I'm glad he got me it. Might customize it and like put my initials or like Grant Johnson on the back. I thought that'd be cool. Shout out to Morris Hofer, his belt. I always joke like the Hofer belt back home adds 15 pounds to all your lifts, but um, yeah, I want to do something like that with this. We'll see if I get it done or not, but my lifting belt I have not been using it lately, but it's something that I will bring and If I have a bigger backpack, I'll put all this stuff in my backpack But at the me for the meantime, I don't have enough room and I don't carry my supplements in it or anything uh, My supplements if I'm gonna take anything before I work out or afterwards I just do it before or afterwards in the dorm. It's just easier that way, but that's my gym bag uh, if you guys want me to go through why or like what I think you should use for equipment and stuff when you go to the gym, just let me know. I think I'm going to make a video on that in the future, but that's what's in my gym bag if you were wondering. Um, maybe you were. Uh, not a whole lot, nothing crazy, but that's what I bring to the gym every time as well as myself. You don't need a lot. You just need yourself, a good attitude, and a good work ethic, and you can make some good gains. And uh, yeah. Oh about my lifting notebook if you guys want to train like I do do the same workouts I do you can find them on my website which is linked in the description down below grantjohnsonfitness.com I'm currently on the advanced program doing that exact same workout split and the workouts listed I'm doing that exact same thing right now um, I've been doing it for a month and I think I'm going to move into a, a different split here shortly and that's not on the website yet but the one I have been doing and currently on is on the website, the advanced program. Check it out if you want me to coach you or give you a program to maximize your gains or whatever fitness goals you have. Just check that out. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah, I'm back at the dorm in case you didn't know, obviously. But back at college now for the spring semester. Be here for a while until May. So expect to see more of the dorm. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Love you. Goodbye.